Hi. Do you believe in magic? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I feel like you're believing in magic. Especially when it comes to love. You may have to make a decision between two people. And the decision that you have to make requires you to step out in faith and believe and magic that's really beautiful believe in magic <clears throat> yes I do I'm sorry y'all hold on I'm just trying to make sure that my fucking phone is charging because I don't have time for it to not be like please alright I would like for the spirit of God to be present within me and within this reading for Aries what is the overall crowning energy for Aries in February please Scott is an Aries, so we're definitely in the right energy. <clears throat> uh, for my ladies, I feel like, yeah, you may have to walk away from a certain one love because they're not valuing you. And there's someone else. I'm getting this double love energy there's more than one person i feel like there's literally two people that you have to choose from this month aries in february all right sorry i feel like i'm a little are you all over the place right now i feel like you're just like kind of at peace because you know that like you're going with the flow like while you're trying to like manifest things you're also just like chilling all right <laughs> What is the crowning energy? I mean, this could be it. What is the crowning energy for Aries in February? Or you could be walking away from somebody who you, like I said, like they just not showing you what you need to see. Give me the crowning energy for Aries in February, please. What's going on here? What is the crowning energy for Aries in February? Please. I've been shuffling for like three minutes. What energy is crowning Aries in February, please? Every time I think something falls, it doesn't. <laughs> What energy is crowning Aries in February? This is so weird. What is this element of surprise, secretism? Moon, feelings. I feel like in February, your intuition is like, I feel like in February, you need to follow your intuition. You need to follow your gut instincts, like, any feelings that you get in the month of February, you need to honor and nurture. You will be very, very much in a space of wanting to love and be loved and nurturing and caring and like providing and like you want to be of, sub of sustenance. You want to be of 
uh, help to people in the month of February. You want to soothe. You may be getting into your own little, good afternoon, you might be getting into your own little, like, form of self-care if you're a masculine energy, right? Like, you may be realizing how important it is to fucking take care of yourself. Yes. And that's what you'll be doing in the month of February. You'll be like, okay, well, how do I take care of myself? How do I take care of my emotions? How do I nurture my emotions? Um, especially for a fire sign, you're way more like physically responsive to things. But in the month of February, I feel like you're going to be emotionally reactive to things, responding to your emotions, not out of ego, not out of pride, but it's because I genuinely felt this and I felt like this is what I needed to do to uh, respect my feelings, my feelings. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Let's get into it. So... I just want to know where Aries is coming from. Give me two cards for the past. Where is Aries, Aries coming? Eight of Swords. So you're a little confused. You have to make a judgment call about this Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Or about having a specific conversation. Good afternoon. Or having a specific conversation about something. There could also be a Scorpio involved. Okay? Um... But it's like you have to make this judgment call. This could even be a judgment call about going to therapy. This could be you seeking some form of guidance, some form of uh, mentorship. Because you felt very confused. You felt very stuck in your head about a situation. So that could be where you're at right now right moving into february you'll be relieving this like caught up in my head this mental prison you'll be relieving yourself from this mental prison but i do see a judgment call being made where you have to decide how you're gonna move forward for the last like if if you're gonna do something again this is the last time if you're going to do something for the first time, then it's, the time is now. You have to go. Okay. Now, give me six cards for what's coming to Aries in February. Give me six cards out for what's coming to Aries in February. Six cards for what's coming to Aries and February. One. Five more. Two, three, four. One, two more. Two more cards. What's coming to Aries and February? Good afternoon. What's coming to Aries in February, please? One more. One more for Aries in February, please. That devil card is trying to pop out, y'all. <clears throat> okay. I see there's some heartbreak. There's a separation that you could be dealing with, Aries. That does not feel good. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of... Damn. Aries, what's going on? I was not expecting this. Um, you could be dealing with another Aries. A Libra. Libra is here heavy. Okay. Um, I see that you feel rejected. And I see that either you or someone else, I think it's you, is extremely defensive. Somebody feels like the other person played with them here. With this five of swords. There's some kind of mental conflict. Some kind of... Um, you could have made a very selfish decision, Aries. This energy here is not... It's not happy the way I wanted it to be happy. <laughs> Let's clarify. What's going on? Uh, 
what is going on i feel like in y'all written readings y'all be so like connected to god and like on the right path i'm trying to understand who is this libra first of all let's clarify for aries in february okay why is this three of swords here for aries what is this heartbreak what is this pain what is this separation What is this heartbreak? What is this pain? What is this separation for Aries? Clarify this three of swords. Page of pentacles. Clarify this three of swords with the page of pentacles, please. Come on. The Emperor and the Fool. So you really could be dealing with another Aries. But what I am getting is that this is possibly your own pride and ego. Like your own nature getting in the way. You might not have been showing enough emotions. And you may have been a little too carefree. A little too foolish in a situation. Um, you may not have been giving enough. Like... Or this is vice versa, right? But this is your energy. That's the thing. The Fool and the Emperor are both you. Sorry, that was upside down. The Fool and the Emperor are both you. And we know that the Emperor is way more than just the page of fucking pentacles. So if you're the Emperor and what you're giving is the page of pentacles, there's, you see how there's a disconnect? I'm feeling like somebody may have walked away from you for that for that reason or vice versa right like you may have why well, i feel I do feel like you could have been dealing with another aries but i do feel like um there's this energy here of someone having to walk away because it just wasn't enough let's clarify this emperor why is the emperor here for aries in february why is this emperor here for Aries in February? The Knight of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, the energy that I'm getting. Now, if you're a, a feminine, like if you're a, wom a woman, I feel like you walked away from someone because they're, they're capable excuse me they're capable of so much more but they're not giving it like literally this is the energy we have the emperor here the emperor is all for fucking king so we're not even going to talk about what the emperor is capable of that's daddy then we have the knight of wands this is a nigga that just wants to fuck this is a nigga that's flighty that doesn't stick around he's not stable he's not a king he's nothing right then we have the fucking queen of pentacles like somebody's being flighty with uh with the queen like somebody's not matching this queen's energy and that's why you have to walk away that's genuinely what i'm getting now i feel like if you're a masculine it's kind of the same thing like maybe you're a king and this bitch she's stable she's grounded but she really just wants to have sex with you that's the energy that i'm getting here like somebody's just not investing all of themselves into the situation like whether it's the man or the woman i do feel like there's two aries fucking with each other good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon y'all um but even if that's not the case i just feel like somebody here just wasn't taking this um connection seriously that's the energy that i'm getting i'm getting it's a little interesting and weird for me over here let's clarify and that might be how you feel you know what i mean like you might you might be like what the fuck is going on this is weird but i feel like the reality is that maybe this is just not the situation for you and we're at a time right now where judgment is being called so even the littlest things are going to separate people because they're just not meant to be together does that make sense where it's like 
this four of cups i'm feeling rejected you're the fucking emperor who's rejecting you you're all four kings bro clarify this four of cups why who's feeling rejected and why who's feeling rejected and why why is the four cup five four of cups here for aries seven of cups so some again somebody was entertaining several options someone was not taking this connection seriously period somebody was in their head entertaining ideas but not focusing in just being present in this one relationship that's dead ass was here and it's giving very petty small energy but i feel like it made the world of a difference it made such a big change yeah with the queen of wands and the moon it might even come out that this person was dealing with somebody else. Let's clarify the nine of wands. So now you're defensive. Why are you defensive? Or who who's defensive? Why is the nine of wands here? Somebody's defensive. I don't like the way these cards just keep fucking falling out. But I feel like that that's the energy where it's like somebody here was very loosey-goosey. They did not value this connection. Even though they knew what the other person was worth or had to offer, they still didn't, like, prioritize it. This is the fool. They're just stepping off a cliff, making decisions for themselves. That's the energy that's here. Clarify this Nine of Wands for Aries. Why is the Nine of Wands here for, for Aries? Clarify this Nine of Wands. The Hermit. Yeah. Somebody may have ghosted the other person. But I feel like you know, like, okay. So whoever is this person that's defensive... This is the person that did the wrong thing. And they know that when you go within, you're going to talk to God. You're going to find a light. You're going to grow. Like, you're going to transform. Like, you understand what I'm saying? So now this person, because look at them and look at you. It shows that these are two people who handle their hurt differently. You get big. You're big. You learn from your pain. This person is now afraid of you, afraid to approach you, afraid of what you're going to say, or afraid that you just don't fuck with them. Like, this person knows that your defense is is you spiritually leveling up this person knows that your defense is you going within and working on yourself this person knows that so now i feel like they're in a weird spot because what can they say to you come on, let's see let's clarify nine of wands with the hermit because they know that they were wrong they know that they didn't put the fucking time and the effort into like they, they I feel like this person knows that they can't say anything because they know that they play games. They know they played a mind game with you. They know it. They know it. And he's holding his sword. Wrong and strong. Like, I played a game and I won. But now this person is stuck in their head with these swords. Who, they're by themselves. Who's on the battlefield? Nobody. You fucking play with me. Now you're on the battlefield alone. That's the energy here, Aries. I don't know who fucking played with you. Clarify the nine of wands with the hermit, though. The page of wands. This person wants to message you. They want to talk to you, but they don't know what to say. And once again, it's the page of wands. This person, I really feel like you're fucking with another Aries. If it's not an Aries, it's another fire sign, period. But this person is horny. This person wants to talk to you because they want to fuck. <laughs> this person knows that it, you're a dub. Like, I feel like they feel like they're a dub. They know that they're a dub. I'm not an Aries, but I'm feeling this energy. Like, I definitely feel like this person knows that they're a dub. That's why they're fucking scared, defensive. Because it's like, now you want to fuck me? Like, and what did I say in the beginning? 
that this person just wanted to have sex with you. They know that you're stable. They know what you have to offer. They see your worth. But this person was not taking it serious. And here they are once again. But it's like, how can I come to this person asking to fuck when I know that they're this? When I know that they're the hermit? When I know that they know my intentions? When I know that they know that I'm full of shit? This person put themselves in a sticky situation. Or you did, Aries, whoever. Clarify this five of swords. Why is this five of swords here? This is all kind of... This person is sick, though. Like, people... Let me tell you something. Start telling motherfuckers to go to therapy. That's it. Go to therapy. You want to play games? You want to chew with the big boys? <laughs> go to fucking therapy, nigga. Like, what the fuck? This is a mind game. Knowing what you're worth. This person don't give a fuck about their own life. If you're going to play with somebody that you know is the fucking hermit. That you know talk to God every day. Like, please. Clarify the five of swords. A fucking psycho. Wheel of fortune. It's a karmic. What did I say? This is a cycle that just needs to be ended. This person is stupid. This person is so low vibrational that they let the devil use them. You understand what I'm saying? They let the devil get in their head so that they could play this game because you don't need to be around them. Fuck this person. Period. You don't, This is a karmic situation. If you continue to fuck with this person, this is all you're going to get. For se the next seven years of your life is going to be fucking circles of this person playing games with you. Fucking the shit out of you, knowing what you're worth. It probably is really good sex between the two of you. But it seemed like this person is the one that's hooked on the sex. You're like, yo, I'm trying to like expand. I'm trying to grow. Like I'm the fucking emperor. Like I have shit to offer. Clarify this nine of cups for Aries. Clarify this nine. I don't like the way these cards keep flying out. Clarify this nine. This nine of cups for Aries. Clarify this Nine of Cups for Aries. Two of Cups. I see a relationship here, King of Pentacles. So I do see you ending up making the decision to have a real union with somebody who can match this Queen of Pentacles energy. We have a match here. We have a king and a queen. You're going to be happy. <clears throat> I see that this is a connection here. These are two people who see each other. There's a match. I feel like this, all of this is just so that they, this person can go. So you can have this real shit over here. <laughs> this person got to get the fuck up. Causing all this heartbreaking shit, being weird. Fuck you. Your shit about to turn up, Aries. It's lit. Let's pull a self-care card. Let's pull a self-care card for Aries. What self-care does Aries need to implement in the month of February, please? What self-care... Black out the media. You need a moment. You need a moment away from social media. You need a moment. I feel like you may watch this person on social media or something like that. Or like, you know, you may see them and it may trigger things within you. Um, you may work on social media. I feel like maybe take a break 